Hello, today we'll talk about data markings and classification in MBSC. We'll talk about two capabilities available for some time already and we'll show demos how to use them, how to configure them. And this is a recent development based on the industry best practices and it's highly configurable but also requires uh, insights how to apply it and we'll cover those insights in this uh, simple presentation. So here we have uh, two capabilities as promised. Uh, one is the client site, uh, Katia Magic site, uh, no cost plugin, which you install through help resource plugin manager. Another one is server site, uh, Magic Collaboration Studio, Teamwork Cloud site, uh, uh, permission and role to mark data with the different levels, again, customizable for your needs. So first of all, let's talk about client site uh, application and uh, all the configurations are kept in the model so it's uh, using best practice of model based solutions even the user interface exists to configure all of that and you'll see how to use user interface and where to find those configurations so the data markings configurations which comes out of the box as you can see here they are security classification with the levels of the security sci control systems atomic energy act dissemination control the data markets and classification plugin is designed uh, for system and software engineers, the price actors, business analysts, and other who work in with classified or sensitive data. The plugin provides compatibility with DOD Manual 5201 uh, Volume 2 specification. Major capabilities is the mark model element, uh, group of element package based on the classification preview models uh, so you can filter you can see those models uh, based on any level you know marked uh, customize new profile for the data markings you can create new con uh, configurations and you can remove existing ones access the data marking uh, model configurations through the model and api so what are the major properties? So as you can see here, classification or data marking category name, then priority between data marking classifications. And uh, if you two of them are applied, right? So which one will be, we have higher priority. And then the rankings. So, so ranking true means that uh, hierarchy exists in, in data marking classification, like top security is higher level than sec secret and uh, confidential is lower level than secret. So if you have like top secret, uh, uh, Marking, so it means it's higher than all of rest of them, you know. If the ranking is false, then all of them are flat. It means that each of them are independent uh, and can be marked multiple times the same data. Those are the major properties. Let's see in the full list of properties. So priorities we discuss, you know, between classifications. Ranking is inside of classification, like top secret is higher ranking than uh, secret or unclassified. Color is the abbreviation color be before the name of the... Uh, block or property Por portion mar portion marking is the abbreviation text uh, which is shown uh, representing the uh, marking like for example ts for top security banner marking is the banner which can be shown in the diagram top or bottom of the diagram or both uh, representing the highest marking or specific marking uh, used in that diagram Incompatible is between markings to the, introduce that those two classifications are incompatible. Two data markings based on those classifications are incompatible. Data markings, uh, a list of the data markings inside of the category, like secret, top secret, and classified. Representing constraint is the constraint which gets applied automatically when you set data marking, and you don't need to take care of that, it's automatic. And specifics display the representation attributes of the data markings. Now let's go through the demonstrations and first of all, let's see specifying the data markings categories and the data markings, how that works. And here we see the sample project where we have the in, in the model, once this plugin is installed, four different uh, data markings classifications. Uh, you can see them, they are hidden by default, you know, in the containment tree. And this is actually the best practice to keep like that, you know, profile with your custom data markings, in, which would be used by your projects in your organization. And uh, just to say that existing data markings can be hidden in the options, project options, and say ignore existing data markings in order not to 
we have them you know uh, just because they were provided out of the box so next we'll see how to add data markings to model elements and here we have the sample which we are demonstrating is secret aircraft sample which you can find in the sample directory again once the pro, uh, mo plugin is installed you right click on the element and package and diagram anywhere and then you have the menu items data markings and classification where you have add menu option and you can choose what level you want to to have you know to support um, uh, to specify you know, based on the selected classification. So here we have assigned, you see top security. So that top security got added uh, abbreviation to the model element. Um, again, we can apply to package and this will be hierarchically applied, you know, to all the elements and so on. And there is a bunch of validation rules which will check for consistency between data markings. Now, next one will be specifying diagram banners. So the banner is applied, uh, created inside of the data marking for each type of the marking. You can specify what banner would be. And in our case, the top uh, secret uh, markings category classification has hierarchy. So it shows the highest level classification based on the elements in the diagram. So here we see it will remove this element and drag another one on the diagram. We'll get another level and then we can refresh from right click on the diagram say data markings update the banner and we'll see now uh, unclassified banner again there is validation rules which will check for consistency they are live and on demand validation rules which will check for consistency and we'll find those in consistent places if you for example uh, don't refresh or something like that now we'll check the last demo for model preview and transformation. You can actually specify what level classification you want to see in the model and whatever level you choose in the top menu preview window, that level will be marked as a red as if it is transformed out from the model and only the lower levels uh, will be seen that's in case of the hierarchical classification in case of flat classification you will have it you know based on selection so here you see if i choose top secret secret is top secret is marked as a red and if i choose secret is top secret and secret would be marked as a red in the project and then i can actually transform this model removing the that level of classification so i will go to that tools transformation model transformation will choose my classification level sensitive elements next uh, will specify what level what scope I want for the transformation then will specify classification specifically which one uh, items of classification which one I want to transform to and in my case, I will choose from the uh, secret classification. So we'll choose uh, top secret uh, and then click OK. And then uh, see here some options, you know, to clear markings data if I don't want to transform anymore and uh, so on. And then I get result, as you can see here, top secret was removed. So what would be the process? So you have, for example, this project in Teamwork Cloud, let's say in Trunk, you can create branch and then you apply the transformation and then you can give that project as standalone to someone who does not have to see this higher level of classification. And normally that's the common process how uh, you work because you don't want to apply the transformation on the main trunk, you know, because you would actually, the data is gone from the model. So you don't want to uh, lose the data. Even you can recover it later, but you know, there could be work done after that and so on. So to summarize, so we have the client side application which you saw we can create new type of markings which we can apply markings see the markings transform the markings and also all the uh, all the options are available from right click uh, data markings uh, and classification there are also which we didn't show like validation rules uh, automatic and manual there's also a menu dialogue with, with which jumps uh, on project open if you want to use it you can specify it jumps on project open and tells users that there are some 
data in the model which they need to know and consider before continuing and they need to accept that you know there could be multiple dialogues like that so this is also an interesting feature of this capability and also banners uh, in the diagram so now we'll talk about another uh, part of this capability which is separate implementation this on the server side uh, it allows to apply resource and roles uh, data markings uh, uh, permissions uh, and uh, access rights first of all we need to enable in uh, teamwork cloud uh, collaboration studio uh, data markings group we need to apply turn on this capability as you can see here we're turning on this capability and then uh, based on that we can see that now first of all we'll see how we can customize uh, the, those classifications out of the box we can create uh, uh, those classifications l1 l2 l3 you know uh, out of the box i think there is no classifications and we can just start from scratch you know creating uh, my levels uh, of uh, classifications again we can go to the data markings we see company level l1 l2 l3 just like that you can add new like company level let's say company two level and create a um, new levels of classification you apply is it type hierarchical or flat and also you apply the color and uh, abbreviation text for each data marking As you can see here I'm creating uh, classification uh, company level 2 company 2 level and again using the same variations L1 L2 L3 applying colors and now I will use it to, to set user access level and apply and also on the next demo will apply data markings on resources so first of all user access level so i go to users uh, management menu in teamwork cloud collaboration studio and then as you can see here each user has access level could be user group you know with access levels and then go here customize uh, says the access level and then choose from company one or company two access level and again if it is hierarchical it means that uh, it, they have priorities uh, hierarchy those levels if not then they are just flat the next one i'm going to the resources in uh, the collaboration studio teamwork cloud and i'm applying uh, those access levels to the resources as a project of in teamwork cloud the last uh, is testing so if you log in with the user with permission l1 you can see l1 l2 l3 resources if you log in with the user permission l2 you can see just l2 and l3 but you can't see l1 project so here we see l1 user log logging in and it can see both all the three levels and now we'll have the user l2 logging in and then it will have no visibility to the project l1 so pretty much that what we expected uh, this capability is uh, another level as you can see it does not relate to project uh, internal data but it actually took the permissions on the project to have access to the project itself <coughs> so thank you uh, let me know if any questions and there are resources available as you can see here some resources of 2022 but full potential of this capability starting from 2024 
and uh, let us know if you have more questions or uh, needs based on this application.